Welcome into RBT Golf Training. Today we're talking about strength, what it means to build strength and why we should want more of it for our golf swing and for our golf success. In general, when we look at golf and we look at the physical qualities that are needed for golf success and high level performance, strength is gonna be at the forefront. A movement system that is stronger is going to be faster, it's going to be healthier, it's going to have higher levels of longevity, it's going to be longer in terms of the distance that we're hitting the ball. It's going to be more injury resilient. We're gonna be able to produce higher levels of force, higher levels of power. So what does it mean to get strong? Well, strength is essentially our body's way of producing force. So our muscles produce force by pulling on bones. That's more the isolated way of looking at it. If we're looking at it through like a pirate scope, muscles produce force by pulling on bones. When muscles combine together in an interconnected and interdependent manner, that's when we get higher levels of holistic force or our whole body interacting with the environment to create force, high levels of force production. So in the golf swings terms, we produce force at our feet via our interactions with the ground. That force is then a central contributor to our levels of force throughout the body and to the, the final force that is going to be reaching the club head and hitting the ball at impact. Your golf swing demands both that isolated muscular contraction, high levels of individual muscular force production, as well as that holistic interconnected force production where we interact with our environment and we produce more of a holistic force throughout the entirety of our bodies. The more force that we can bring into the ball at impact, the more force that ball is going to carry with it and have the further it's going to go. Based on the law of conservation of energy, we know that no energy or no, no momentum is going to leave the system at impact. So the more force we create within our swing, within our interactions with the environment, the more force we're going to bring to impact and into the ball. From a health perspective, the stronger we are, the more injury resilient we're going to be. Stronger soft tissues are tougher to break. So if we can build strength within our muscular system and build connections via that strength within our neuromotor system, we're going to be much more injury resilient, we're going to be much healthier, and we're going to achieve higher levels of longevity. In the end, remember, the golf swing isn't soft and your training shouldn't be either. So in order to build strength, we need to be, we need to be applying external stimulus. We need to be applying external stress to our body, trying to overload ourselves in a progressive manner in order to see adaptations form and to see strength levels increase. We can do that with dumbbells. We can do that with barbells. We can do that with bands. We can even do that with our body weight by achieving new positions and by establishing higher levels of movement variability via high force production. Be sure to go check out this video here for two ways that you can expand and improve your lower body strength levels, your lower body force production in a manner that's going to transfer to your golf swing, to your golf success, and to your golf longevity.